Coming April 5th to WKYC TV3, Daring to be Dumbo, a documentary that brings to the forefront the quest to abolish bullying. Join Al Roker and five seemingly ordinary people who overcome challenges to become extraordinary people, making their world a better place. I'm Al Roker and I've joined forces with the Dancing Wheels Company and school and their partners to explore the ever-growing issue of bullying. Bullying is a universal issue that doesn't discriminate in terms of who it can affect. It crosses all races, ages, and gender. Every man, woman, teenager, and child. So what I'm trying to do is really exploit the, uh, the unique uh, talents and abilities of theater to create that empathetic dialogue and to see oneself in a main character that's very different and so to further that dialogue but through the empathy of a theatrical lens. When I was this character and was going through what other students might go through in everyday life, it absolutely changed my views. It also changed my perspective on how students deal with these things. The Tolerance Fair is an event that I've dedicated my life to. It's become my life's mission, and it all started back in eighth grade. Because of my Tourette syndrome, I was disqualified from a cross-country meet simply because of vocal tics that I was having. And from that day forward, I realized that I wasn't the only person being intolerated because of their differences. And I said, I don't want this to happen, not only to myself, but to other people at all. If I could talk to a child that's being bullied, I would have to have them focus on the fact that this person that's torturing you, that they really have no value in your life. So it really doesn't matter. But you also need to make sure that you don't react because a lot of times the bully is sending out feelers to see where they can get a reaction. And if you don't make that initial reaction, they're gonna move on to someone else. When I come across bullying, the word bullying, it's funny because it takes me back to my best friend Terry Ford. And the reason why I came off Stomp is to do bullying assemblies all over the world. My best friend Terry Ford was 16 years old. He committed suicide because people picked on him because I wasn't around. So that kind of took a toll on me. And I remember I was in Peru, in Lima, Peru, in my hotel room on tour. And I remember calling my mom and saying, Mom, I'm done. I'm done with the, I'm, I'm done with the tour. I'm going to come back home and, and do these school assemblies, get my band together, make a strong band, and say my message through music where you catch people's attention. Tune in Saturday, April 5th at 7 p.m. and join the fight against bullying.